Hello there. If you're a Beat Saber streamer, then you need to know about this mod. One of the great things about streaming Beat Saber is all the mods that make interaction even better. Things like song requests is such an amazing feature for streamers and I absolutely love it and use it all the time as such a vital part for my stream. But to find mods that work for streaming, that work well and are regularly kept up to date can be quite challenging. But recently, I've discovered Beat Saber Plus, which has answered all my streamer problems. It's definitely a must have mod for any current or aspiring streamers. Today, I'll be walking you through what it is, why you should use it, and how to install it. But a quick note though, this mod is for the PC version of Beat Saber. If you have a Quest and a gaming PC, you can run it via Airlink or with the link cable. But first, a message from today's sponsor. Being a streamer often means that you have to run your own little production studio in your own bedroom. Managing all the lights and software and cameras and cables can be a lot, which is why the Loop Deck Live S may be of interest to you. The Loop Deck Live S is a customizable streaming console that allows you to take control of your stream chat, audio, and more, all from the easy accessibility of your desk. The Loop Deck Live S has analog buttons, which allow you to adjust the volume on the fly. You can set it up to your microphone or voice chat or even in-game audio. You can set up all the buttons to manage different aspects of your stream, like OBS scene changes, camera angles, or even enabling funny sound effects. My favorite part about this console is that all the buttons are touch screens, so you can easily swipe to see what other buttons you have on your console. You don't have to worry about folders or anything, which is a real nightmare. There's also extra tactile RGB buttons on the side, so you can set them up for your favorite shortcuts or macros, and there's a huge amount of support for different software and plugins. Loop Deck have been making editing consoles since 2016, so they really know what they're doing. And you can check out their Indiegogo campaign if you want to pre-order the Loop Deck Live S, which gives you massive discounts, which won't be available later on. The Indiegogo only goes until June 30, so you have to jump in now if you want to get your hands on one and get those discounts. I think this device looks really cool, so make sure to check out the Indiegogo campaign, and a massive thank you to Loop Deck for sponsoring this video. Now, back to Beat Saber modding. In the past, you've needed different mods to manage different aspects of your stream. And one of the most frustrating things with all these different mods is that they're most often not kept up to date. And whenever there's issues or bugs, it's really hard to know who to reach out to to get help with it. I'm always super grateful for anyone who spends their time creating mods for Beat Saber. It's a massive part of the community and the modders for Beat Saber are the real heroes but when I don't have my song request working then my chat gets a bit grumpy. So having these mods is a vital part of my stream. But this Beat Saber Plus mod pretty much does it all and most importantly it's regularly kept up to date and developer is always taking on feedback and suggestions from the community which is really awesome to see. The mod has integrations like chat. You can read your chat from within the game and also enable the ability to see new follows, subs and bits. You can change width and height of the chat window that shows up in front of you and also the color and opacity. You can see the view account if you want to and you can press the lock icon to move around the window to where you want it to be and then press the lock again so it's locked in place and you don't accidentally move it. The mod also supports song requests. In the settings, you can limit who can request songs and how many. But also, you can limit what type of songs people request. I try to limit the length of my songs, so people aren't requesting 10 minute songs. And you can also limit the amount of downvotes a song have, so people aren't requesting bad maps all the time. You can then navigate to the chat request window to see your whole song request queue and the history, so if you accidentally miss one or want to play it again. And you can easily close and open the queue on the left. All your mods can use the commands. So there's a whole bunch of commands you can use as well, to request songs and change the settings within the chat as well. This song request tool just works really well, it's really user friendly and there's so many settings and things you can tweak as well and I just love that it just works really well. There's a few other settings like note tweaker, I don't really play around with this too much but uh, you can definitely play around with it and change how your blocks look so you can make them smaller or bigger or you can make the arrows kind of different so this can help you with like making accuracy a little bit more visible and things like that. And there's also a really cool tool called chat emote rain. You can set it up so when chat uses certain emotes they sprinkle down on your screen when you're playing Beat Saber or you can get it to react to subs and bits. You can also customize how this all works and there's a whole lot of stuff you can change. I haven't quite dived into all the settings with this yet but yeah it looks like there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with this. There's also a game tweaker settings where you can adjust graphical settings to improve your performance. You can turn off the annoying in-game logos and ads and stuff like that. You can even change the color of your menu and what song plays in the background. There's also a chart visualizer feature for anyone who's into that. 
And there's features to add custom chat integration. These chat integrations could do a bunch of different things like react to subs and bits. And you can join the Discord to see other chat integrations other people have made to be able to get it to do cool things like change cameras within OBS and things like that. There's also a feature to overlay what current song is playing as well in your OBS screen. The developer is also actively working to add way more features. Currently there is YouTube support if you're part of the Patreon. So if you stream on YouTube, you can get access to that where you'll be able to see the chat and have some requests through YouTube, which is really, really cool. And there's also multiplayer support coming soon. And maybe even some TikTok support. That would be really cool. To download and install this mod, the best place to go is the Beat Saber Plus Discord and head to the releases channel. There's multiple versions, depending on what version of Beat Saber you're running as well. Once downloaded, you'll need to extract the files using an unzipper tool, then copy the files into your Beat Saber plugins folder, which can be found where your Steam or Oculus library is located. Then navigate to the Steam Ads folder, then the Common folder, then select the Beat Saber folder, and then find the folder that says Plugin. Then we want to copy all our files into that folder. Once you boot up the game, it should open a web browser on your computer. And from here, you'll need to link your Twitch account. We'll need to select Get Token, and then it will prompt you to log in with your Twitch account. And then under Twitch channels, you can add your Twitch account there as well. So just type in the name. I recommend selecting launch web app on startup. And if you're happy with all that, just make sure you press save. And then from there, you'll find the Beat Saber Plus tool on the left hand side with all your other mods. But if this is your first time modding, I highly recommend that you watch my Beat Saber modding video because there are a bunch of other mods that you'll need to have installed for this to work. Or if you're new to modding, make sure you check out the mod assistant tool. This is a tool that allows you to install a bunch of essential mods for Beat Saber, plus a bunch of other fun ones as well. But that pretty much sums it up. I know how much of a lifesaver this mod has been for me and for the longest time I didn't know existed. I kept having people mention it and I'm like, what? what are you talking about? And now I've discovered this mod, I'm just, I'm really grateful and happy that it exists and I know it'll be really helpful for other streamers as well. So I wanted to share the news. And if you are a Beat Saber streamer, make sure to link your channel down below so we can all support each other. And of course, follow my Twitch channel as well where I stream Beat Saber very regularly. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.